What's going on, comicbook.com? I'm Jim Biscardi, that's Bruce Campbell, and we are talking about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness out on Blu-ray uh, this Tuesday. I Comic-Con's back. It is, boy. How Asses how does, to elbows. How does, how does it feel? Good, good. I never, I thought I would miss any of these people, uh, but I do. Yeah. I did. Uh, and my green room buddies, my actor buddies, Sometimes the only way I see them is at a con. So it's good. Yeah, it was dead as a doornail for a year and a half. But I managed to tour during the pandemic. I did drive-ins. Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you never have to leave your car. Yep. They're already 10 feet apart. Uh -huh. uh, we did the photo ops outside. Mm -hmm. And I would not move. I'd stay in one place, and there would be like a zombie dummy in the middle to keep the separation. They'd just step in, take a picture, and move on. So. We faked it, and they put a camera on me that then was seen on the big screen, and awesome. my microphone came through your stereo system as well as the movie. That's awesome. So it's not your dad's driving anymore. It's not. So that was cool. Nice. Uh, I got to ask, so Comic-Con, obviously, uh, people love you coming in a costume. They're getting movie news, uh, TV news, comic news, et cetera. But a lot of people come to collect. What does Bruce collect? Uh, residual checks, <laughs> mostly. <laughs> um, you know, I... I I'm not a collector. Like my, my brother uh, stole the keys to the original Evil Dead cabin. These mm -hmm. cool skeleton keys. All right. So he's got those because he's just a thief. Uh, he's not really a collector. He also has the shotgun from Evil Dead mm -hmm. because he doesn't care about the movie though. But he likes guns. Sure. So that's how that happened. All right. So sometimes the people who should be collecting don't, and the people who should mm -hmm. not do. All right. I don't. I do have a. I have a storage unit of stuff. Okay from over the years. Right. Because I will save the action figure just, just to have it so that in 20 years from now, show a little grandbaby, you know, look, here's what the old man used to do right. a thousand years ago. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All right, let's talk about Dr. Strange for a little bit. You, let's, let's talk you, about that. You did a, a master class level of uh, teasing on Twitter uh, coming up to this where we all swore you were gonna be doc uh, a variant of Dr. Strange in this movie. Uh, is that- You don't know that I'm not. Fair. Right? Fair. Is you, you have no idea. We don't. No, because if you get hung up on the fact that he's a pizza guy... Sure. You uh, are so wrong. <laughs> you are so short-sighted in your thinking. It's not a cameo, it's a building block. There it is. Because what did I do to Dr. Strange during that scene? I intercepted him uh, I got information mm -hmm. out of him. I was able to report on his whereabouts, and I delayed him for about 45 seconds. Perfect. So, so Bruce Campbell, Doctor Strange confirmed. If he's <laughs> in one universe, he can't not be in the others. That's true. The way these multiverses work. Uh-huh. You're blowing my mind right now. Your mind <laughs> should be blown. <laughs> Because that's how these work. No, nothing is what it seems like it is. Uh -huh. So cameo, shmameo, you can shove that up your nose like a rubber hose. <laughs> it's pivotal. Can, can I ask, uh, when you like got the call to do it, uh, and you know, what, what was that? What was, what, like, was it just kind of like a normal Tuesday? Uh, and you know, pick up the phone and it's Sam, and he said, hey, I got a, I got a thing for you, or how'd that come about? Um, I, I would always send my agent to just harass him at some point <laughs> and go, and he would call, you know, Sam and go, so, like, what is it? Mm -hmm. What's the part? Sure. Because it's, Sam really can't, he's only done a couple movies without me and they were the bad ones. <laughs> and so it's, I'm sort of his little good luck charm. Oh. That's really how I see it. Fair. But in this case, it's way bigger. <laughs> Way bigger than a cameo. <laughs> I love it. Wait, I get, can I ask uh, how you, uh, like, what your reaction was to the fan reaction of uh, you showing up? They seemed fine with it. Uh, I've heard audiences that they all erupted in cheers, yep. and some audiences, uh, no one knew who I was. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. You know, uh -huh. I don't really look like the evil dead guy anymore. So sure. they I don't really know why this random guy showed up mm -hmm. to do this gag. Heavily implying here that uh, your role here is not over. I can't even answer that. <laughs> I can't say yes or no, mostly contractually. Sure. I'm on a knife's edge legally right now, <laughs> just by being on your show. 
I, pr- I appreciate. I'm, I'm threatening like a lien on my house by being on this show. Oh, I I appreciate so, the. Uh, you're welcome. The the vote of confidence and just in just coming. It's risky. I appreciate it. Well, like that's I, you, why I have to leave now. <laughs> you've got a ton of other places to go. Really do thank you for I coming. I do. I do. For more from San Diego Comic Con 2022, keep it locked into comicbook.com.